Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear viewers, today we will model this Kamlapur railway station structure in global RFEM. This unique structure was built in 1968 for railway station. So this complex shaped structure we will model in global RFEM easily. So let's start. Before going to that, I want to tell about the website of Decode BD. You can go to the website by typing decode-bd.com. From here, you can check tutorial page. Here, there will be new uploads and other featured tutorials linked to YouTube resources the resources we have used in youtube tutorials here you will get those resources and some other useful resources you will get here then you can go to discussion page for asking any questions here you can type your question i will try to give the answer you can see the blog in the blog i will try to post important articles every day so you can check the blog now we will go to the tutorial we will go to new model we will write the name kamlapur railway structure click on ok first we will work in x z plan so click on here settings of work plan x z click on ok now from here go to insert model data line from here also we can model from here also we will start with new single member with this create a new cross section click on this we can go to this shape concrete now here we can type the dimension 24 b 8 8 8 16 and balance 8 this side thickness 8 a 0 click on ok ok now first point 0 0 0 x y z click on this then we will go up here we can type 0 from grid origin or last node we can click on from last node zero along z direction 30 feet click on apply like this now from here we will model line only new line from here to up here zero zero from reference from last node 18 feet click on apply like this along x direction 20 feet so 20 0 apply then from here up 3 feet from there upward direction 2 feet ok now we will model curved line click on this we will use SP line we have to take some coordinates from architectural drawing or elevation for this curved line for this structure I have some data from there I have taken some coordinates to create curved line first we will click on this sp line then 
this is the starting point then from this point the x distance will be 0 0.3 feet and along z axis 7 feet now click on apply then from this point the distance along x direction will be 1 feet along z direction 4 feet click on apply then from here 3.25 feet and 4 feet click on apply then another one 4.5 feet and z direction 3 feet click on apply then last one we will select the last point now from here we will press esc so this is the curve line now from here we will create a straight line from this point to this point now we will delete this portion now within these lines we will create surface now go to insert model surface graphically we'll choose thickness six inch geometry quadrangle standard from here we can change the concrete strength clicking on this we can customize this strength by creating new material clicking on this click on ok okay now select the boundary lines this one done now this is our surface now select this one edit mirror here we can see here global coordinate system yz yz create a copy click on ok so this mirrored now this two surface we can rotate rotate number of copies one okay angle 90 degree point and parallel axis is z axis click on okay so this is done now click on this we will draw line from here to here from the midpoint to upward direction it will be 12 feet 0 0 z axis 12 click on apply okay now we will change the work plan click on this click on this create new user defined this one absolute click on this this one then this one then this one click on ok now this is new work plan now click on this this first point z axis 9 feet and along horizontal axis 7 feet click on this this okay now this delete now again we will change work plan create new select first point this second point this and third point this one okay now along this direction we will create curve this point along horizontal direction 5 feet and 
z direction 8 feet 5 feet 8 feet click on apply like this now we will create mirror select this one edit mirror create a copy user defined three point first point this one second point this one and third point this one click on ok done this length will be 16 feet we have taken 12 feet so we can increase this length by selecting this node edit move 0 0 along z direction 4 feet click on ok like this so this is the shape now we can create surface for this portion now go to insert model data surface graphically now click on ok this this and this so this is done now for this side this this and this okay this surface and this surface we will change the work plan to global xyz click on okay we will go to edit then rotate number of copy we can create one two three we can type here three 90 degree click on okay so this is done we can create support here insert nodal support rigid or fixed okay so this is the support fixed support and this is our structure now we can select whole structure to create mirror edit mirror three points first point this one second point this one and third point this one click on ok you can see this mirroring done now we will select this portion then go to edit move our copy number of copy along this direction we need seven so more five needed type here five the distance click on this from here to here click on ok now this is done along one direction and another direction we will do similarly we can select all the members then we can go to edit copy number of copies here this direction also we need seven here we have one so more we need six distance from this point to this point click on okay so this is done we can remove this work plan from view clicking on this grid now we can apply our loading on this complex surfaces we can select this surfaces go to 
insert load surface loads graphically we will use surface finishing load as dead load dl category dead click on ok now the surface load global z direction uniform 15 psf pound per square feet in ksf it will be 0 0.015 ksf click on ok here this load applied from downward to upward so we will undo this one then go to insert load surface load graphically this will be minus click on ok now here we can see the loading applied to the surfaces same way we can apply live load also here i am not going to apply live load now we can go for analysis to see the stress result for this complex surface from view we can remove loading symbol and value clicking on this it will remove value and by clicking on this it will remove the loading symbol we can go for analysis calculate all so now this is done you can see global deformation ux ui uz can go for design concrete rf concrete surfaces design select this one now calculation so design finished by surface we can see here required reinforcement in square inch click on ok graphically we can see here we can filter our graphics by display we can use field including thickness now from here go to fe mesh on surface click on this the meshing lines will be removed from the view now we can see result clearly we can see the model in different colors according to the thickness of surface or type of surface colors in graphics according to this is standard this is cross section this is member type member hinge surface type surface type is thickness surface thickness plus positive and negative surface side so in this way we can view our model in different graphic settings in global rfem software and we can do complex modeling we can do analysis and design in this software so thanks for watching Stay tuned for more upcoming important tutorials. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.